Feeling all right? Oh, yes, fine. <laughs> Lovely. You got £16,000, serious money. Have a look at question number 10. Give me the right answer to this, I'll write you a check on the spot. I'd be delighted to. For £32,000, you have one lifeline. Here it comes. Which of these is a fairy in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream? Rose petal, elderflower, peas blossom, poppy seed. Okay. Why are you nodding at me? I'm all right on this one. Are you? I'm there. What, £32,000 there? Yeah, yeah. Um, peas blossom. Why are you so sure? Um, I did English at university and I've got a vague recollection of a couple of Shakespeare plays. So not rose petal? No. No. Not a flower? Poppy seed? Mm -mm. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won £32,000. <laughs> Good girl! <laughs> Are you happy now? Very happy now. Very, very happy now. Very happy. Good girl, Lisa. This is another guaranteed minimum of £32,000. There, that's yours. Oh, you've got your name on. Not Peter's name, it's your name. No, no. You take it? It's yours, you can take it. Leave it there for now. What, here? <laughs> what, in mid-air, like this? You sort of put it there? Okay. Yeah. Right. Good? Yeah. Now, you've got £32,000, guaranteed. This is for £64,000. You might as well play this. You cannot lose on this question. You're five away from a million, and you've still got to phone a friend. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this question number 11. Which airline was the first to fly the jumbo jet for £64,000? KLM. Lufthansa, Pan Am, Air France. I don't know. I, I really don't know, actually. Um, and it's the question of whether you take a gamble in the hope that you can save your lifeline. Have what? you got an inkling? Um, Be like an inspired gamble or just a... Well, Air France, they did Concorde with... That was a French-English thing, wasn't it? So... I'd sort of discount them, I think. I don't know why, but KLM jumps out at me. But now I'm sort of going through my head as to which phone a friend is the best. It's probably not going to be, look well, I don't know. Are you thinking it's got to be a, a long haul airline? Because otherwise, why would they need jumbos? And I know Lufthansa and Air France fly long haul, but KLM, I can picture it in the KLM colours and, and Pan Am for all those airport films. Um, <sighs> OK, I don't think it's a strong enough gut feeling to go for it. So, I'm going to phone a friend. OK, now who should we phone? Oh, crikey, I don't know. Peter or Dave? Okay, no offence, Pete. I'm Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Pete! Wait. No offence, Pete. If you're watching, Pete. No offence, Pete, but I think I'm going to phone Dave, actually. Ah, okay. Where's Dave? Um, in London, North London. London? Yeah. Which bit? Oh, crikey. Doesn't Somewhere matter. north. <laughs> Not far away. Could be here. Could be. Hello? Dave! Yes. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, I've got Lisa here. She's doing rather well on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, very good. Very good, but it puts a bit of responsibility to your end, Dave. Uh, what? Next question is worth £64,000. £64,000? Right. Yeah, quite serious. So, she's stuck on a particular question. There are still four possible answers. One of these is the right answer. OK. OK. So, Lisa, you've got 30 seconds. Lots of luck. Your time starts now. Which airline was the first to fly the jumbo jet? Was it KLM, Lufthansa, Pan Am, or Air France? Uh, KLM, Lufthansa, Pan Am. Air France. Or Air France. The jumbo. Ten seconds coming. Any you can discount? Right. Um, at a guess, I would say Pan Am. Quick, quick. Really? Educated again. guess, what percent? 25. Oh, Dave! <laughs> 25? <laughs> that was his educated guess. <laughs> well, I'd hate to have had the stupid one. 25 out of the four possibilities. 
Good boy, Dave. Oh, yeah, great boy. Good choice, Lisa. Yeah. Right. Well. <laughs> Dave's pretty damn sure it's Pan Am. It's 25% certain. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's up to you. It's worth six, you might as well play this. Yeah. It's worth 6 4, Yeah, that's but. a nice thing about it. You've got 32 guaranteed. Now, Dave's hunches are normally very good. Are they? Yeah. I find that extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> what does he do? He's a teacher. Is he? <laughs> right. OK, Pan Am or KLM? Or Lufthansa or Air France. True. Sort of discounted them for no All logical right. reason whatsoever. Yeah. I'm going to go for Pan Am. Why? Well, hey, you know, we're sort of all in it together, me and my phone of friends. And the reason I chose them was because I trust their knowledge, or lack of. And I would really kick myself if I'd actually asked for somebody's advice and they'd given me a clue and I'd gone against it. I haven't got a strong enough feeling about any of the others. Okay. Now I'm going to go for Pan Am and close my eyes. <laughs> Why are you closing your eyes? Well, he sort of puts it off a bit, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Is that your final answer, Lisa? Yeah. Close your eyes. OK. We'll take a break. No, Join I us knew again in the coming <laughs> We'll be right back. Don't go away. Before the break, Lisa Brearley, who's guaranteed £32,000, got stuck on this question. Which airline was the first to fly the jumbo jet? KLM, which was really and truly the one that Lisa thought it probably was. Lufthansa, uh, which she more or less discounted. Pan Am, which her phone -a friend Dave said he was fairly sure it was, but he was only 25% sure and Air France. For some reason, she then went for Pan Am, discounting her original idea of KLM. It was the right answer. You just oh won Oh, my goodness! I have a clue, have you? No! <laughs> Not a clue! Good old Dave, eh? Good old Dave. We never doubted Dave. No, never. Good boy, Dave. We never doubted Dave for a second. Oh. 64 grand. Now you can travel the world. Now you can see some tigers. Bill, it's yours. Oh. Okay? That's okay. So I don't want to touch it. It's waving in the no. breeze. No. Okay. Is he always like that, Dave? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next question is worth £125,000. Have a look. This is question number 12 of a possible 15. Which city provides the setting for Puccini's opera Turandot? Paris, Rome, Kathmandu, Peking. It's worth £125,000. In a way, I'm really pleased to have got this question. Why? Because I haven't got a flipping clue about it. So I'm not even tempted to go for anything. Oh, go on, have a flipping no, go. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I was hoping it would come to this stage. But actually... What? You were hoping for a really impossibly hard question? Yeah, yeah, so that I just wouldn't even be tempted. Would you have a clue, then? <sighs> Kathmandu sounds a bit bizarre. Tora Dot doesn't sound very ne Nepalese or wherever. Yes, that is where Kathmandu is. Yep. If that was the question, I would have been OK. Paris, Rome, Peking. <sighs> Give me back my phone, a friend. Well, Dave. No, not Dave. Not Dave. Not Dave. <laughs> not an opera man, I don't think. Paris, Rome, Kathmandu, Peking. I don't know. No, I'll, I'll be gutted if I lost thirty-two thousand. You've got £64,000 at this moment, you can mm. walk away with that. 
Well, it's worth 125,000. No, if I had an inkling, I'd go for it, but I haven't got an inkling. So Which ones isn't it? I don't think it's Kathmandu. Puccini sounds Italian. I don't even know whether he is Italian, but would he set it in his home city or would he want to set it somewhere exotic, like Peking? I really don't know, other than saying it's not Kathmandu, and I'm really going to look stupid if it is Kathmandu now, but... You won't no look clue. stupid. You've got £32,000. OK. That's not stupid. That's good. Now I'm going to take the money. Final answer. Final answer. OK, give her a big hand. She goes away. <laughs> You can take the cheque now as well, my darling. Take it away. £64,000 is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can tell you, you're quite right. It's not Kathmandu, it's not Paris, it's not Rome. The right answer actually would have been Peking. Peking. I well, think you hey. did the right thing. She goes away. £64,000. Well played. Thank you. Good girl. Well done, darling. Thanks. Have a great night.